Yeah. Yeah, not great. Looks legit. So yeah, we've got the phone fixed, but we have to wait two hours until we can pick it up. We found this rather odd looking shop. And we're not too sure how it's gonna come out, but it's $25 and it means that George won't be cutting his finger every time he scrolls through Instagram. So it's worth it, I think. We've booked a grab to the Imperial City, which is kind of like, I think, the most famous historic thing in Hue. It's very warm again today and we said yesterday that we're not gonna go because we're gonna go first thing today, but because of this phone malarkey, it's kind of postponed it and now we're in the hottest part of the day again, but it's fine. And George is sick again. You're having a nightmare today. You've cracked your phone and you're ill. Look at it. It's not the I same sort know. of sick. No, I've just got a cold and a headache. How have you got a cold? It's so hot outside. No, it's annoying. So the Imperial City was built by the king in 1804 and the walls are like 10 kilometers long. So it's like a huge place with loads of palaces and things inside where the king lived. And it's now, it's a world heritage site, which is amazing. It just looks massive. It cost about 150,000 dong each, which is about five pounds each. Picked up some drinks. Stop it. <laughs> Get your energy levels up. I'm not feeling good. My energy levels plummeted through the ground. Yeah. Um, Isn't it through the roof? Well, yeah, they're through the roof if it's good, but I changed it because it's bad. No, I'm fine. I've just got a cold, which is really annoying. It's because a guy on the bus the other day was sneezing right next to me all the whole journey. So this is the actual place. We came in just through here. Well, it's not the actual place. It's a model of what it looks like from above. And it's absolutely huge. You can see here the scale of it. So although a lot of these places look amazing now, it's quite stunning, um, a lot of the roofs and the detail in these buildings, it looks like from here that a lot of it's actually been restored and a lot of it was destroyed in the war. You can see here where the buildings have just crumbled and where they've actually rebuilt it in the um, original kind of style most tourist attractions are of course trying to cash in a little bit um, you can actually dress up in some of the clothing here the authentic clothing have a photo on the throne it's so funny and you can choose if you want servants or not and everyone like dresses up classic up my phone it is fixed it's a really good job I'm, I'm too scared to get it out in the street but he gave me this to keep as a souvenir my old cracked screen ordered some orange juice vitamin C for a cold what were you gonna get what's better <laughs> I was gonna get a banana shake and Lucy was like no nurse Lucy was like no you need vitamin C we've ordered some sandwiches because Sandwiches are so good in Vietnam. I've got chicken, bacon and cheese. I've got chicken and salad and sauce, but mine's an actual traditional sandwich called Ban Mi. Jordi's this is like a sandwich. I got mango juice too. Food's arrived, looks so good. I wonder if it will stack up to the Hoi An one we had, which is insane. And Jordi's got a child's sandwich with some chips on the side. And a little toy with that. And a fruit shoot. <laughs> Literally love the view from this hotel room. We are on the 10th floor on this building um, and we've got a view over there and a view over there. I hope you've enjoyed the little time lapses we've been putting in the vlogs. We're off now to swim and we've actually been on booking.com just now and we have booked our next hotel which we are staying in tomorrow night for four nights in Hanoi which is further up north. We have a flight tomorrow. We have a flight tomorrow at 1 p.m. I think it's about an hour and a half flight, something like that. Is it not? It's quite a long way. Mm, I think it's, well maybe just under, maybe maybe just over an hour or something. We love flights. If you've been watching all the daily juices, we've been getting sleeper trains, 10 hour buses, all sorts of transport. But when flights are so cheap, I think this flight was, oh, this, was a really this was like 
20 quid each. 20 quid each or something stupid like that. that. When it's that cheap, we can't really resist flying because it takes an hour and we're there in a new place. We're excited to explore Hanoi. Someone we met when we were back in Cambodia told us Hanoi was one of their favorite places along with Hoi An of Vietnam. So we are super excited. But anyway, now swim time. Really nice pool here. Some palm trees, little view of the roads just over there. Definitely have a little swim here. Just heading up for some dinner now. Uh, it's absolutely chucking it down with rain and it hasn't rained here for two weeks. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna get a taxi because even though it's a, like a two minute walk, we're gonna get in a car because I don't wanna get wet with this cold. Are you right? <laughs> no, not really. You may have noticed we're using these bottles much more. We feel like we were using loads and loads and loads of little bottles every day, um, which obviously isn't good using that much plastic. So we started buying big bottles. Introducing you to our latest sponsor. No, it's not our latest sponsor. Obviously it's not good just using plastic every day. So we have started buying the bigger bottles, um, which can actually work out cheaper as well, and just filling our bottles up, which is much better. Smart. This is why we're getting a taxi. Uh, it's yes. tipping it down, and our grab should be here. Legend just pulled up right by our hotel for us. God, haven't seen rain like this in a while, have we? No, it's really bad. Feels like an English October. It feels like Thailand. That's what it feels like. Yeah, it does. It's still very hot, isn't it? So we're off to an Italian restaurant tonight. Italian food seems to be really popular here for some reason. It's like more popular than Vietnamese. Yeah, so you get Vietnamese like we had the other day, noodles, rice, all that kind of stuff. And then the baguettes, the banh mi, they're very popular. And then Italian restaurants for some reason. So we're gonna try out <laughs> a very well-known, popular Italian restaurant. Here. Number seven. In oh, you've got. Oh, we said we'd I'd drink I, from I'm that sorry, bit, I and you drink from that bit. Lucy's, I don't want to get. Lucy's a about. To. Please arrive. Phil has got a bolognese. You Give it a try. You can't complain with a simple one lens. Well, let's try it first. <laughs> Hot, fresh. It's really funny, every Italian restaurant here seems to have like a happy hour where if you order anything, you get free bruschetta and passion fruit at the end, and that's happened tonight. Um, and I've got, it's like chili, garlic, spaghetti, uh, with some parmesan. Ah, that's hot. Okay, there's been a power cut in this restaurant. Um, <laughs> hey, there he is. He like a ghost. No one reacted though. It must just carry on eating. It's hilarious. It's the same. Is it because of the range, you think? Yeah, probably. Wow. 